Hello, hello. I have come to do a little create. Um, it's not going to be too long. And um, I'm not having a bad day like yesterday, so things are, are going a little bit better. Um, however, I, I did actually start this before um, I turned the camera on. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I've done. Um, what I'm making is this was inspired by uh, Wendy Thompson. Um, been chatting to her recently and she is amazing um, watched one of her flip throughs and she has a, a tag it, it's not exactly the same as this as this but it's very similar and this is um, you know Wendy is where I got the inspiration from this from um, got a little bowl pin with a bead dangle and a little tag it's tied with some dyed seam binding and it folds out and we've got a little tuck here, a little tuck here, and a pocket in the middle. And then what I've got on the back is um, just a little die cut holding the seam binding down. Um, I'm in the process of making um, four art journals. So the pages themselves are very plain and quite white. There's a little, there's lots of colour, but not the, the obviously it's artist paper inside so um, what I needed to do was just add a few little things um, into the journals as kind of inspiration for creating some art so what I've got here is this is um, photo album kind of card and it has a really lovely effect it's kind of like cartridge paper but thicker I've cut a piece 24 by 16 and what I did is I've made a little nick at 8 centimetres and I don't know if you can see that but that just shows you how pants my paper cutter is at the moment and it's only had a blade in it for what a week it's awful um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm lining this up on my board and I've got my line at 8 centimetres and I'm just going to use my ruler and then my bone folder to slowly ease this paper because it does crease if you don't do it quite gently and then I can use my bone folder to and that could not be less straight could it we're going to cut that corner off and obviously this bit here so we don't need to worry about that not looking great so what I'm going to do now is I'm lining my ruler up here because I don't want it to kind of catch and I'm just going to fold this one over okay so we've got the basis of our of our little card now I folded it the wrong well it doesn't really matter there's not a right or a wrong way to fold these so here I have my tag as a template I always use one side because they don't they're not always the same so I'm going to use that one because that looks slightly bigger and I'm just going to cut that tag edge and I'm going to do the same the other side So thank you, Wendy, for this awesome idea. Fantastic. So now we have our... I want to see if it will fold that way. It feels, ah, yeah, that's fine. Just gonna... So obviously you know the next step. We're going to have to ink, aren't we? So I'm going to get my ink out. And I'm going to do this fairly, fairly quickly, but... as quick as I possibly can yeah I don't know what happened yesterday apart from, I mean I I have trouble stamping stamping randomly <laughs> I just can't you know and I, and I know that washi tape looks so much better if it's stamped kind of a bit more haphazard um, it was just one of those days and I am one of these people that do follow my own advice and if I, you know, I knew I wasn't going to be productive with a project, so I just took that opportunity to play around with things that I wanted to have a go at and haven't had the time or haven't had the chance to. 
or just haven't got around to. So it was really nice to um, just mess some stuff up yesterday. <laughs> And um, thank you to everyone who said that you are still glad I put the video up. I, I just, you know, I was just like, I don't know if I should. Um, but I do know, I do know that at least one person went ahead and watched Nick's video. And then went ahead and created some marvellous washi. So, you know, my work was done. At least one person went off and watched Nick and, and did it properly after I... <laughs> I messed it all up but you know a couple of them I'm really happy with the one on the tape on the um, double-sided tape I really like that and I was really happy with the ones that I printed so although I'm not so sure about my birdcage stamp maybe that's one that may not get used or that little strip I might leave that might just leave that. I inked everything. Just want to run a little bit of ink down this crease. You don't actually get a perfect fold with this paper, but I want to use it because it is, you know, it's suitable for creating some art on because obviously these are going in the art journal, so I wanted the front and the inside. If, if you wanted to, if somebody um, purchases one, they can, you know, you can use it for, for painting. Okay, so the next step is the um, the book page. So I've done two already, and I think these are seven by thirteen. Yep, seven by thirteen. I'm desperately trying to keep my bangle off my blob off my board. Okay. Oh, I've got two here. This side, I think. So seven by thirteen, and all I do is oh, my glue's going for a little little wobble. Is I line it up on my board, and I just count the seven squares. Um, and I can use my my tear ruler, um, especially for tutorials. It is so much quicker, so 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 much quicker than um, me trying to tear by hand. And you already have to watch me ink, so. Now you have to watch me count squares. It's like watching paint dry, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my days. Right, now I'm just going to give this an ink. This book page is like 100 years old. So I kind of have to be a little bit gentle when I ink it. Um, although it is actually not in bad condition. The book itself was falling apart. Um, but it is a botanical book and the journals are a botanical theme art journal. Journals. Um, I'm just, you know, kind of putting the finishing touches to them now. You know when you start a project and then you lose interest and you don't do anything to it for a little while and then you get your mood back and, you know, you rotate between projects. Well, I think this is the one that's probably going to be finished and I'll probably do a video maybe later today if they're finished soon enough or if not tomorrow okay so I'm using a two glue attack to, to get this in because I love the fact that Pritt stick gives you such a nice flat um, surface and again because this is an art journal I'm not sure what people will want to do for, to, to this it's not designed to be left as it is it is designed to be you know, artied up, artied up a bit. So I'm going in with the Pritt stick around the middle and because I don't want this to, you know, come off over time or whatever, and I do trust me old Fabri-Tac, I'm using Fabri-Tac around the edge. Um, and I quite often do this because you get a really good adhesion with the Fabri-Tac around the edge but because the Pritt stick gives you a really nice flat surface it works brilliantly on a tag so I'm just going to plop this down gently flatten that out and I'm going to do the same to the others obviously I, I couldn't do everything in advance because um, 
hadn't made everything yet. <laughs> if I'd made everything in advance, I could just, it wouldn't be a let's create, it would be a show and tell. A bit different, aren't they? So we are having some crazy hot weather. And I know those of you in Arizona, hi everyone in Arizona, will say, you know, we've got hot, you don't know what hot is. <laughs> Which is true, very, very true. Um, but we are, um, we're kind of high 90s here. Yesterday, I live in Suffolk, and yesterday we were the, we had the hottest day of the year and we were the hottest part of the UK, apparently. Um, and it was really high high temperatures here for, for you know temperatures in the UK and it's just crazy but it's awesome the grass is not looking too good actually it does look a bit like a desert out there we're not used to you know our grass is often it's usually green we do usually have green grass here because we get we get frequent rain but it's been I don't remember the last time we had rain we might have had a few little spits um, you know, but we haven't had any proper rain for probably six or eight weeks and that's just unheard of here. I don't know if anyone else in the UK has had any rain, but we certainly have not. Certainly have had no rain. It looked, we've, we've had kind of several days where it feels like it's going to storm and then it just goes and there's nothing. No storm, no rain, no nothing. No grass <laughs> is the result of that. Okay, so um, we've got our, we've got the start of our little um, trifold tag. Um, they kind of reminded me a little bit of the of the tag tucks I I did in a journal recently. So I've got a bit of a book page, and I'm going to use this to make my my little pockets. Now, if I remember, I think I did them seven. I think I did it seven wide. I'm going to use this part here for the pocket. Now I can use my smaller paper cutter for this. So I'm just going to trim that edge first because I want as much flower interest as possible. And get my glue out of the way. Seven, seven across. And then I don't want to trim too much off that top bit, but I want to get rid of some of that white. And I think a pocket about seven deep will be fine. And then you still get to see um, the title. So that's going to be the start of that pocket. And then I want two little strips to go down here as little pockets. And I think I'm going to go for 12, if that is 12. No, I'm going to go for 11 and a half. will be fine. I might make these ones slightly wider. The only thing I'm not sure about is the words on that. Um, if I come in a bit, hopefully that will, the corner punch will take that off. Although it's not going to take that off, is it? Um, I'm going to have to live with the words, I think. But again, this is an art journal and there's several pages in the book that you know, uh, there, there's text on there and, you know, I will cover things up with gesso and all sorts. That's why I got started with these because I needed to make my own. Um, I did mine and then didn't finish the two, one, well, two large ones and two small ones. I didn't finish those that I started for the Etsy shop. I was a bit selfish. I did my own and, and uh, didn't finish these. But um, I just lost, lost, lost my mojo for art journals. So I'm going to give these a little bit of an ink. I mean, truth truth is, how many of us do not have like half a dozen minimum projects already on the go? And I think that's a really good thing because you do sometimes need a change to stay motivated and productive, don't you? You just need to um, kind of rotate your projects sometimes. And then you get, you know, one day you just wake up and you think, I'm really motivated to finish that today. And you seem to be able to work a lot more um, purposefully, I suppose is the word, on a project. Where's my little... Oh, it's over there. <laughs> Thought I'd lost my little 
my little pocket. So, oh, and um, I will be showing you, because uh, I did my tool video, obviously, because I get lots of questions about the tools. And uh, since then, I've had, like, I don't know how many questions about tools that I didn't actually show in the video, which I... I was wondering whether that was going to happen. I still get tools about the same video. Uh, no, I still get questions about the same tools. Um, but it's great now because I can refer people to the video. So, okay. Let's have a look at what we've got. I really like this one. This is really cool. So now we've got our little pocket and our little tuck spots. So I'm going to glue those in. And again, I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac for this. Um, and I know it's going to be nice and secure because the paper is Fabri-Tac'd as well as the Pritt stick in the middle. But the Fabri-Tac is going to be doing most of that work. Um, and in this little folder, I'm going to be putting some little inspirational bits. So small little images, um, maybe some quotes, things that you could use as maybe art prompts or you could use in a piece of collage artwork or whatever. Um, so this is going to be the little ins a little inspirational folder or tag to go into the art journals. Okay, we are nearly done. I'll put it on my fabric tack very quickly because I won't need that again. So that is the inside complete. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my hole in for my, um, um, what's it called? For my eyelet. So I've just popped a little hole in there. No, I haven't popped a little pencil mark so I can line that up my grommet don't want a silver one I want a brass or a copper one oh that's gone for a little journey there we go now I can pop that in lovely so I'm just going to get my ball pin ready. Don't want a silver one. Silver's not really going to go. Right. So the next thing I'm going to do before I just finish off this bit, I'm going to do the seam binding and throw everything that's in my cart on the floor. So cut a piece off. Um, and I'm afraid I'm going to have to use my heat tool just a tad for this. A little bit of ink on here. A little bit of ink around there. Now this is something I should have done before the video. Would have been a bit quicker. I'm sorry guys. Another reason I love my glass mat, and you can use the heat tool straight onto it. Now, somebody said to me the other day that you shouldn't shake it, um, and when I was teaching, I always told my students to keep the heat tool moving because if you keep it in one spot too long, you do run the risk of burning an area of, you know, usually we were using heat tools for paintings. And especially on, you know, something like acrylics, um, you, you know, you can cause the paint to bubble. So um, that's why I, I do move the tool around. I don't keep it in one spot. So I, I'm sorry um, for those of you who prefer to keep it in one spot. I, I don't. <laughs> I just move it around, especially with something like this seam binding, because this will burn and it will it will shrink and melt. And you know, I could hold the heat tool further away, but it's um, I don't really have time for that, especially during a tutorial. And this dries super, super quick, super, super quick. How 
and we're already there. That's fine. Okay, so the next thing I want is... Um, now, you could use, for this, you could use um, a fussy cut. Um, I'm not using a fussy cut because... Um, these die cuts from Tim Holtz are much, much thicker. If you don't have, um, I want something with a bit of lilac in to go with the inside. If you don't have these, I would absolutely recommend you mount your, um, that's quite nice, that you mount your fussy cut to hold the, um, the seam binding in place, just to give it a bit more stability so it's a bit stronger because obviously you're going to be given the, the seam binding a bit of a tug to close it and again you don't have to use seam binding you can use any ribbon or lace or trim or eyelash trim or yarn anything would close this would keep it closed and this is a low cost I think this is a really low cost kind of make it isn't um, it isn't an expensive thing to make because most of it you could make with scrap. It's only the cardstock really that you would need. So I'm just going to get this into place. I'm actually going to tie this. I will have to untie it shortly. I'm going to have to tie the bow. Just so I know what my half is. So I've got a nice even um, piece to tie it closed. I have no idea how long we've been going for, but I, I do only want to do this one video, so I'm going to try and speed up a bit. Now, because the seam binding is so thin, the glue will penetrate that and go through to the cardstock, but the, obviously we've got plenty of glue around the, the kind of the top of the, and the bottom of the wings that are going to hold that in place anyway. the glue lid on now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just give it a little press from the from this side just to hold that down for a few seconds it is very very quick Fabri-Tac dries very very quickly oh I've done it wrong I've done it on the front oh do you know what that's okay though isn't it <laughs> Problem averted. We're going to have to tie it around that way. That's okay. That's okay. That's not. That's not a big problem. We've still got this side and the back that can be painted on or decorated or used for your art purposes. That's just now tied. That's now the butterfly at the front. Actually, I quite like it at the front. I can live with that I quite like that okay <laughs> and here's me saying my day was going so much better than yesterday um, I was asked about this punch it says woodwear craft collection and it is just a mini tag punch I have absolutely no idea where it came from I do have a Fiskars punch which is slightly bigger and I'm I will be using that for this project so um, you know maybe I'll show it to you in the flip through video um, but yeah that's that's the punch that I use to make these little mini tags so I've got a little charm I'm just going to open up my bulb pin and I'm going to pop those on and I put them in the order I want them because once I've got them on here or not So I pop them on here. I'm actually going to, it's my thumbnails. They are just getting to the stage now where they're in the way all the time. Once I get it on and do it up, I'm going to just turn that round so the lower bit is hanging down. So that is our um, little trifold tag. I'm actually quite glad I've done this because I really like the butterfly at the front. I really do and then because you've got the tag and the dangle you're not losing too much space to be able to create some art on so you've now got a full page here and a full page here to create if you wanted to 
you know, you can either, you can paint something, you could collage onto it, you could add more pocket, you can do whatever you like. I think they're, I think these are a really cool idea. So that is my trifold tag. And I'm actually quite pleased that I did make a mistake because I quite like it tied at the front with the butterfly. There we go. And here is the other one. So if you look at the difference actually, this one looks much, that one looks much more interesting than this one. And obviously this one, you've got the front which you've got the dangle and things on and the back which is here. So you've, you've got more space to do something on this one than you have on this. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, possibly get the flip through done of the art journals today. If not, it will be tomorrow. Um, loads and loads and loads of more ideas and things that I really want to share with you so um, please subscribe if you haven't and I will speak to you all soon. Bye!